All right, guys, what's up? What's in my baseball bag? Division two college baseball player edition. Let's get going. If you guys end up liking this video, I would really appreciate it if you like, comment, and share. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. I've been trying my best to pump out as many videos as I could now that the season started. But without further ado, let's get started. So I actually want to start by answering a question that a lot of you guys may have when it comes to playing in college. And that is, what kind of gear do you get for free? What do you get in college for free? Because um, I know that that interests a lot of the younger guys, especially. Um, and for the most part, it actually just depends on how much money your school has. It's going to range from just t-shirts and, and, and clothes for practice all the way up to like custom gloves like you see in those division one and, and even in some of the more lucky division two programs that have enough money to fund for their players like that um but the school i go to mercy college in new york it has a decent amount of money so we get mostly just like um cleats we get bags and we get like practice shirts you will almost always get a hat and uniforms you will never have to pay for hat and uniforms you get a couple actually I have two so yeah I'm gonna start off with the bag I use, or the bag that I, I I get to use sometimes, and it's just a regular like Nike duffel bag. It has my uh, my name and my number on that. But I'm actually a utility player, so I I can't really fit all my stuff in that bag. So instead, I have uh, this bag right here. Uh, and this bag I actually got from BaseballSavings.com. I'm gonna link it below so you guys can go check it out. Uh, this is the extra large bag. It's a 35 inch bag. I was going to go with the 33 and a half inch bag, but I just went with this one and it's honestly more than enough room. And when I say there's more than enough room, I, I really mean it. Like this is all my equipment in here, including practice and game equipment. So I'm going to start off with just my practice equipment. So I use, let's see, these are my just regular running sneakers. Um, I use these like to hit in the cages and stuff like that. I do have a pair of turfs, but they're downstairs in the garage. I don't feel like getting them right now. Uh, next up are my practice cleats, and sometimes I do use these as gamers, it depends on where we're playing and what cleats I feel like wearing that day. Uh, my New Balance, uh, just New Balance Bowler cleats, I got these last year. Um, they're great, real comfortable. Uh, I'm not super picky with my cleats, as long as they're New Balance, I really don't care what they look like or, or how they feel, because I, I trust New Balance, they're the best cleats in my opinion. Those are my practice shoes. Uh, now I'm going to start with my catcher's gear. I'm lucky enough that my school actually gave me a, a catcher set. Uh, this is Force 3 gear. Um, just basic stuff, you know, it's nothing crazy. Not complaining, it's free. I'm pretty sure uh, Eugenio Suarez uses them. Uh, same brand. I got the chest protector. Uh, Force 3. And then I actually have a mismatched uh, catcher's mask. It's an all-star. I'm pretty sure this is a System 7 or 6 catcher's mask. Um, and yeah, this is the one they gave me. So cool. Awesome. Next up is my helmet. I just got this recently. It's a regular, just Easton senior elite helmet. I don't really know like the exact specifications. Um, all I know is that the flap on it is actually adjustable. You can put it on the right or left side. I am a left-handed hitter. So yeah, that's the side I have it on. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, yeah, so we got my Oakleys, which are in this case right here. Just regular Oakleys. I bought the frames used and the case used, and then I bought just brand new lenses for it. Um, so yeah, these are just regular, I think, radar uh, with the field lenses. I like using these a lot. Oh yeah, bands. So I got my bands. I try to use these as much as I can. Try to use these almost every day that I throw. Bands are great. They're not just for pitchers. I think um, every baseball player should incorporate some band workouts in their uh, in their warmups. Um, it's just arm care. Everyone should practice arm care. Yeah. Let's see what else I got. Got a couple belts in here. I have two belts because you always want to carry a belt for yourself and a spare belt in case the belt you have breaks or you know one for your teammate in case he forgets it. Happens all the time. So yeah, two belts and also a great little bag of tape. I have white tape that I use for my fingers and just, you know, just another roll of tape there. Uh, Pre-wrap and navy blue wrap um, and some liquid bandage there. I don't know why that liquid bandage is there, but it's there. Now I got my gamer cleats. These were given to me by my school, which is awesome. These are really nice New Balance cleats. Uh, they are molded. Uh, that's because our home field is turf. I'm pretty sure the only people that can use or that were given metal cleats on our teams were the pitchers because our mound is dirt, but the rest of the field is turf. So yeah, New Balance turf or New Balance molded cleats, very nice cleats. 
uh, some wipes. You always want to carry some of these. You never know if you're going to need them uh, to clean like a cut or something. Yeah, a wipe, a mallet, my trusty mallet. I always carry this mallet with me because uh, there's always a teammate that has a new glove or something and they want to borrow it. Uh, I once went like a month without seeing this mallet because my friend borrowed it for that long. But yeah, there's my mallet. Very nice. Now we're getting into the best stuff, uh, gloves and bats and things like that. So for my bat, I use a Cat9. I've had this since 2020. I bought this, yeah, towards the end of 2020. Uh, I'm not a really big metal bat guy. I just use whatever feels good and whatever is available at the store. So I picked this up for like, I think it was retail price back in 2020. Great bat, no complaints, pretty balanced. And then I recently just wrapped it with new lizard skin because the old wrap was wearing off and I wrapped it the lefty way. So like the clockwise way. Yeah, it's a 33 inch and it's the regular Cat9, not the Connect. Yep, okay, there's my bat. Now, I don't really bring this to college games because you can't really use wood bats in college, but whenever I do play in the summer or uh, in a wood bat league, I always like to bring out my Victus JC24. I've had this for almost three years at this point and it still has tons of pop. It's a super good bat. It's pretty balanced, but it has just, again, tons of pop, super loud bat too. I love the sound of a good wood bat. It's, they sound great. So yeah, JC24, 33 inch. Uh, just something basic again. I'm not a bat guy. Just whatever bat feels good Whatever bat swings nice and, and has nice pop. I just picked that one up uh, I'm not really uh, super particular about my bats. However, I do like watching the baseball bat bros. They are really fun to watch And now we got my gloves. I typically like to bring three gloves to the field with me uh, The glove that I use the most right now is my catcher's mitt. It's a Mizuno pro select 33 and a half inch catcher's mitt and I broke this in very nicely uh, and the way that I broke this in was I just caught a bunch of pens with it. Um, I remember going to the batting cages, like the automatic batting cages that you put the coin in. I went there, I did like three three rounds in the fast cage of just catching it. And that's how I broke it in, just, just playing catch. This is a really good mitt. I got this for, I think it was a, like $260, so just around retail price. Very, very nice palm stain, just gorgeous mitt. Very comfortable. And just for myself, I have this uh, thumb guard and this thing actually works. This is an evil shield thumb guard. I, it's molded. So you get it, you put it on your thumb and then you put your thumb in the, uh, and then you put your hand in the glove. And yeah, that actually does help you from getting like jammed and stuff like that. So yeah, there's that. Next up is my infield glove. Whenever I get the chance to play third base, uh, I whip out this bad boy. It's still not really broken in yet. I did a review on this when I got this about like four months ago, really nice. 44 574 12 inch with all black mesh um it's a custom flag right there half dominican half american um and it has a custom web in the style of like a mizuno post web so that's super nice um it's not completely broken in yet but it's okay because i don't really get to play third that often so i try to just bring this out to play catch with and to shag with uh, still super duper fun glove to use and it's super stylish. I get compliments from my teammates all the time from this glove. Last but not least is my trusted outfield gamer. Uh, this is the only glove I use in the outfield right now. However, I do want to break in my Rawlings, uh, my custom Rawlings trapeze glove soon, um, but that's, that's going to be in a couple months. Uh, this is the glove I've been using for the past two years. This glove would have definitely had a lot more use by now, but I didn't get to play my senior year of high school because of COVID. So I didn't really get to start using this until the summer of 2020 when I started getting ready for college ball at my uh, previous school, Concordia College. But yeah, this is my current outfield gamer. I love this thing. It's a Pro 44 1275 and it's aged really nicely. It still holds up its shape because I've taken really good care of it and I also haven't been using it that much. But anyway, now I'm starting to get a lot more reps with it and it's, it's starting to actually get to the form that I want. Finally, it's actually starting to break in perfectly. Super, super nice form, super duper deep pocket. Let me grab the ball real quick. So it actually completely swallows the baseball. This thing can snag the hell out of line drives and fly balls. If I'm wearing this glove and I drop something, it, I know it's my fault because this glove is so good. If it goes in the glove, it's staying in there. Yeah, it's just a really good glove. Um, I plan on using this for like another season and then I'm gonna start, oh, whoops. I plan on using this for another season and then I'm going to start bringing in my custom Rawlings. Protective gear. So I actually only use um, an elbow guard. Uh, I'm not really big on like the leg guard thing. I could use them, but I just haven't really been able to get pick one up yet. Actually, my assistant coach 
gave this to me. He was like, hey, does anyone want this? I was like, I'll take it. And I actually used this, I used this Evil Shield elbow guard to put in my catcher's mitt, just like that. It fits perfectly in my catcher's mitt so that I can actually put it in my bag without it getting crushed. Um, and yes, I do sometimes put my gloves in my bag, uh, but I finesse it in a way that they won't get crushed and like, you know, squished and stuff like that. I try to put like different equipment in my gloves so they don't get messed up. Like I'll put my uh, Oakley's case in my glove like that. I actually talked about doing things like this in my previous video. You can put your gloves in your bag as long as you like prop them up with something so that they don't get crushed. And that's actually kind of sick how it fits perfectly like that. That pretty much does it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm trying to get this video out for like the past two weeks, but we've been traveling a lot. We actually went down to North Carolina and then we went to South Carolina. We played a bunch of games there. So now I finally had the time to record. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, share this video. I really appreciate the recent support, guys. We just hit 1500 subs on YouTube, which is just a crazy accomplishment. I'm going to try and have maybe like t-shirts or something out by like 2000 subscribers because that would be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, guys, let me know what you guys want to see in future videos. Thank you so much for watching.